Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Now you may remember that last year I put together a few videos about this truck here. This is the Artful Dodgers Ground Fox uh, conversion for an Enduro. It was the version 1.2 of the Ground Fox uh, using the uh, Element Enduro axles uh, and the Element Enduro transmission. And I've been running this the past year and it's performed really well uh, with only a few tweaks from what I described uh, a year ago when I was making the original videos. Now, those of you that follow what Artful Dodgers are up to will probably know that there is now a Ground Fox version 2 available. And, drum roll please, there's one in this box. So what I plan to do in this video is take a little look at the contents of this box here, describe what you're going to get in the Grand Fox version 2, look at a couple of extra parts that Artful Dodgers are doing as well, uh, and just give an overview of where Grand Fox is in 2023. Now before we go any further, I do need to do a little disclaimer. This kit has been supplied to me free of charge by Artful Dodgers, so thank you very much for that. Um, no money has changed hands. I will be completely honest in my review of what's in the box, but I will be classing this as paid promotion, so you will see a little tag on the YouTube videos, just so you're aware I'm being completely transparent about where this has come from. Okay, so let's get straight into the box. And straight away, you should have noticed one of the, the big differences in the options that are available for the Ground Fox version 2 uh, and that is the carbon fibre chassis rails. So these are three millimetre thick carbon, you can see the weave there. As you can see lots and lots of holes in here for different mountings. I will do a separate more detailed video comparing the build of this chassis with the build of the original uh, version 1 Ground Foxes. Uh, later on. This is just going to be an overview of the parts that you get in the kit and a particularly nice detail that I like here and I do like the way that Artful Dodgers include little details like this is there's a little bit of milling here just to reveal that Foxy logo. So I'm looking forward to trying the carbon rails. Uh, the aluminium rails perform very well although I did find after one very big tumble down a hill that they bent uh, and needed quite a lot of uh, finesse to get straight again. These won't bend, the question is whether they will break and crack in the same situation, so we'll have to wait and see. These bags are numbered uh, in relation to the build of the, the kit. I should point out that there is no printed manual available for the Enduro conversion at the moment, uh, so you have to piece it together using photos and uh, files that have been put together for the Vanquish version, which was one that they released previously. So this is the machined Delrin skid plate for what they call the fox belly transmission and that's where they rotate the standard element transmission around to give it a lower centre of gravity. Um, that's clear on the original truck and it's more or less the same in this truck. Uh, again, nice details there, uh, Artful Dodgers machined into it. That's not a 3D print, that is a piece of Delrin. Uh, these though are 3D printed. These are the uh, skids for the sides. Um, look like they're slightly different to the originals. They've got a little bit of a, a notch here. We'll work out during the build why that is. A couple of spaces to get the chassis uh, plates apart and of course some hardware, stainless steel to bolt everything together. Bag two we see some of the differences between the uh, Grand Fox version one and the version two. So the version one used a lot of um, metal standoffs to space the chassis plates apart. Uh, the version 2 takes a slightly different approach and what it does is it uses these uh, feel like aluminium, bent aluminium plates as spacers and uh, mounts for the various other things. It just feels a little bit more bespoke that they've taken the time to use uh, their own custom spacers rather than just off the shelf spacers of which there are still some uh, and in here again we've got more uh, hardware and the black hardware here, you should be able to see, I think I'll just pull one of those out, is some little thumb nuts that they are using. Uh, and this is their new way of mounting the body shells. So replacing the standard body posts uh, with the original Ground Fox, it used the Element body posts. This has its own solution using these little thumb nuts. Okay, bag three contains the aluminium mount for the motor. Uh, again, this bottom area bolts onto the fox belly skid plate. That is where the motor itself mounts. 
got a feeling this may also be slightly different to the original. We'll do a compare in the later video. Uh, I noticed that instead of providing a 3D printed uh, cap for the uh, exposed, what was originally the bottom of the element uh, gearbox, they supply a little cap to make it look pretty. Uh, previously that was 3D printed. You can see that that is now also an analyzed piece of aluminium and you should just be able to pick out that it's got the nice little fox emblem engraved into it as well, along with all the required fixing screws. Bag four is the servo on axle mount. So this particular chassis kit is available in both servo on axle and chassis mounted servo versions. Here in the UK, there's no real reason to run a chassis mounted servo. Um, it is preferred in class one, but uh, this will be a, a class two uh, or above build. Um, I have this already as it happens. Um, this particular one is finished in silver uh, with the Artful Dodgers uh, Fox engraved on it there uh, and with all the mounting bits it, it clamps onto the uh, a rib that is on top of the element gearbox and it holds the server in place very securely. Um, I will say it would be nice to have that in black uh, just so it matches all the other black finished parts but I, I guess that may be related to the materials or the supplies that Artful Dodgers have on hand. Okay fifth bag is another example of where Artful Dodgers have decided to move away from 3D printed parts and go for the bent aluminium parts. So this looks like it's a uh, battery mount or an electronics mount that would mount low in the chassis. Um, as I mentioned previously, the uh, Grand Fox used it some very nicely 3D printed mounts for this purpose. Um, it's quite nice to see these sort of more solid pieces in use. We'll see how they go together again in practice. Uh, plus of course, all the hardware you need to, to fit this in place. Bag six has got a few parts in it for mounting a servo. Uh, and in this case, because the steering servo is going to mount on the axle itself, this is an optional winch servo mount. Uh, the main plate here is made of carbon fibre that sits on the side that's drilled for a standard size servo. They also supply this adapter plate here, which is drilled for a mini sized servo if you're using one of the mini sized servo winches. A okay, bag seven is another piece that those of you that have seen the Grand Fox before will be familiar with. Uh, it's something I believe that Artful Dodgers sells separately as well. These are extended plates for the steering system. So on uh, an Element Enduro, these are normally the uh, parts that attach on the steering hubs, one for the drag link between the two sides and one for the steering link. And this is the one that goes on the other side where the steering link doesn't attach. Uh, what Artful Dodgers have done is they've made a slightly longer version um, it doesn't necessarily give you more lock, but it can give you more clearance. And that's why they also provide these extra little clips here. These are intended to go on the shock shaft underneath the cup that the spring sits on, raising it up, gives you more clearance for these if you're doing a, a lot of extra lock. Now, I will try them again this time round. Uh, I will mention that when I built my original Grand Fox, I didn't need these. I got just as much lock with the standard parts. Um, and I found that these just, just were unnecessary. But we'll see how we go with this build. So this lot here is all you need to build a Grand Fox version two chassis. Of course, you add your own transmission, in this case from an Element Enduro, axles and shocks and electrics, wheels, tire and body naturally. Uh, Artful Dodgers also very kindly sent me a few other parts to potentially include in the build. So I should just give you a run through of those as well. It gives you an idea of some of the other things that Artful Dodgers are offering at the moment. So here we have some slightly shorter skid plates. I would imagine uh, that these sliders are designed for if you're using uh, a smaller body. Um, I'm probably going to build mine up using a cab only body. We'll wait and see exactly which one it is that, that appears on it when it's built. Uh, these might be the kind of thing that's useful uh, for a smaller body like that. Uh, also has another adapter plate here. Not entirely clear what that's for. That will become clear as I uh, modify things. It might be another uh, winch servo related mounting plate judging by the, the size of those holes. This is one of Artful Dodger's roof racks, uh, which is very, again, very nicely um, machined with the Artful Dodger's Fox logo visible through it. Maybe it doesn't look like some roof racks. It's really designed as a, a winching accessory. So you get this pulley here as well, which you can bolt into the roof rack. You then attach the roof rack directly to the roof of your body. Uh, it gives you an additional pulley as a winch point uh, on the roof of your truck. Uh, again, in the UK, we don't tend to use winching very much. Um, I'm not in the habit of using a powered winch, um, but I think it'll look pretty good on the shell anyway. So I think that's going to make an appearance on the final truck. Something else here is another one of the chassis braces, this time with drill holes for a small servo. So I suspect that is to give you another 
option for fitting a winch in a different position on the chassis rather than on the side, maybe more towards the front and in the middle. And last but not least, this is Artful Dodger's solution for mounting a cab only body. Uh, this is where the body mount screws would go. And then you are inspected to mount these holes on the holes on the rear shock tower to get the right position. And what that allows you to do is it creates a mounting position here for the rear of the cab only body because one of the issues with the cab only body is there's no clear way of connecting them because you haven't got the rear shock mounts so you might end up doing velcro or something like that so this hopefully is a more secure way of attaching a cab only body um, again plan is to put a cab only body on this one um, probably will also get some kind of dummy bed in there because that's one of the things that uk rules tend to require uh, we'll see how we get along with that that should be an interesting part of the build so there we go that's an overview of some of the latest parts from artful dodgers for LCG crawling, the Grand Fox version 2 chassis and a few other parts there as well. I'll be bringing this together over the next few weeks, so please do keep an eye out for some more videos uh, here on the YouTube channel. Uh, as ever, if you've found this uh, interesting, uh, then do please uh, consider giving a like or a subscribe, it really helps me. If you've got any questions or comments, then too, please leave them below. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching.